October 2022 saw the welcome reopening of the Great Laxey Wheel after months of careful restoration. There were invited guests, speeches, applause, the unveiling of a plaque, more applause and a group photo. But the main event was the restarting of the wheel. At the original opening ceremony in September 1854, it was the island's governor, the Honourable Charles Hope, who was given the honour of starting it for the first time. Though it was his wife, the Lady Isabella, who gave her name to the wheel. On this occasion, it was the governor's wife, Lady Philippa Lorimer, who was asked to start the wheel. And as she turned the mechanism that controls the flow of water, it started to fill the first of 168 buckets around the rim, each of which can hold 24 gallons. At first, the water spilled out of the buckets, running round the inside of the wheel. And even when the valve was completely open, nothing seemed to happen. But then, slowly and majestically, the increasing weight of the water started to turn this incredible machine and all its moving parts gradually came to life. As it gathered speed, there was a sudden cascade of water as the bucket spilled over and once again the world's greatest water wheel was turning. The Lady Isabella has been superbly restored by the team from Manx National Heritage, along with their contractors, Alden Construction and various specialist craftsmen. For months, she's been shrouded in scaffolding and sheeting as the painstaking work of replacing rotten timbers, repointing and repainting the stonework, and cleaning and repainting the wheel itself was carried out. The Great Laxey Wheel is quite simply the greatest water wheel ever built on the planet. And we have it here on the Isle of Man. It's of international importance and unique historic value. There is nothing like it anywhere else in the world. And what makes it more valuable to us Manx is that it was designed and built by a Manx man, Robert Casement, born just along the road in Laxey. For some 75 years, it pumped water from the Laxey lead mines, and from the very start, it was a tourist attraction and a thing of wonder and pride for the Manx people. Though at one point, we nearly lost it. If there was ever a man who needs a statue, or at the very least a commemorative plaque putting up to him, it's this man, Edwin Neal. A local builder from Lexi, Mr Neal leased the wheel in 1937 and bought it outright in 1946 to prevent it being sold to scrap merchants. If he hadn't have done this, maybe all we would be left with today are memories and a bit of the stonework. However, this stunning piece of Victorian engineering is still with us. It wasn't just perfect for pumping the water from the mines some 1,500 feet below ground, but it's also a masterful piece of design, elegant and functional, and carefully placed by Robert Casement to produce the maximum effect over the Laxey Valley. But, and there's always a but, this restoration is only part of the story. There's still more to do in the next phase. This rocking post is not now connected to anything. It used to push and pull a 600-foot rod that connects the wheel to the great T-rocker at the end of these arches. But this no longer works and the T-rocker itself is broken and abandoned. The arches are in desperate need of remedial work and to finish the restoration this phase has to be completed. And the longer it's left, the worse it will become, and the more expensive it will be. To half do the job is unthinkable. To let something as astonishing as this masterpiece of Victorian engineering gradually become derelict would be a permanent stain on the reputation of the Isle of Man. If only for the sake of those who've gone before, it must be completed. 
for the miners who helped build and maintain the wheel and who relied on it to keep their workplace dry deep below ground. For the engineers and the countless generations of craftsmen, enthusiasts, politicians and civil servants who've dedicated so much skill and love to this extraordinary machine. And for the people who have celebrated this icon of the Isle of Man over many generations, the complete restoration of this site is the only option. This cannot be the generation that sees its decline. Manx National Heritage will have to raise the money and have that crucial negotiation with the Treasury. The government's own organisation, Visit Isle of Man, has the grand ambition of bringing an annual 500,000 visitors to the island, and the Great Laxey Wheel will be one of the star attractions that will bring them here. It's encouraging to have heard our own Treasury Minister say that he's confident there will be enough money to fulfil the ambitions of the island plan, and that the island's fairly healthy reserves are coping. One hopes that he sees the completion and continued maintenance of the Great Laxey Wheel site as an essential part of any plan for the future of the Isle of Man, both for the Manx people and for the island's standing in the world.